Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 21. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be at the License Center doing the International A License, IA, and we are doing quite a lot of different challenges actually with varying abilities of cars. So, first of all, we're going to be mastering the Circuit de la Sarf's Indianapolis section. Right, so we are here at the Circuit de la Sarf, and we're going to be doing the Indianapolis section. Let's do this. We're in this Skyline kind of car as well. What is this? I don't... Oh, yeah, I know this part of the track. This car is very slow, though. I will put that out there right now. Perfect. Why did I shift down to second? To first, sorry. That just slowed and ruined my entire run. Ah, unreal. And we got 173 XP. Brilliant. Right, on to the next license then. Right, so we are breaking from uh, 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 into the Mulsane corner on the Circuit de la Salle. I did not have a clue how to say that, so uh, I butchered that. And this is the final corner as well, where you have the really hard braking part. Here we go. Sixth gear. We're going to be braking into second. Too late. Too late. Way too late. Right, let's try again. I was expecting Alexis to have better brakes than this. I'll take that. That is fairly good. Obviously, we've got about 0.4 seconds to play with. Sort of quite a lot of room there. But I will take that. That is a very good. Uh, on to the next license. Right, so next up, we're going to be tackling the Laguna Seca's Notorious Corkscrew. This is my favourite corner of all time. I absolutely love this corner. But I can never get it right. I can never get it right. Uh, because Gran Turismo sort of has like two braking zones. Nineteen point seven seven five. Again, it is so difficult to get through that corkscrew with enough speed, um, and follow that driving line as much as possible. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it again and try and deviate from that driving line. I'm going to imagine the driving line is just not there and it's just for braking. What on earth was that? <laughs> I didn't realise it came out that far. I would normally take the corner like that as well and cut half of it. Um, yeah, just don't, just don't. Eighteen, nineteen, we did get faster, ever so slightly. 
but uh, I don't think that's going to be improved on very much. So we're going to leave that one for now and go on to the next license. Right, so for this challenge, we need to break into consecutive corners on snow. Now, I am pretty confident with snow driving. Uh, we did get gold on the second attempt last time we did snow driving. So hopefully we should be all right with this challenge. Third, second. Ah, oh, we messed it. We could get silver. Thirty nine, forty. Oh, very close to silver there. Right, attempt number two. Let's do this. Perfect. Right, slow in. Come on. Ah, oh, so close. We didn't, we didn't get much faster, but I thought it was going much better. Um, right, on to the next license then. We're not going to get that, so next license. Right, so we are here at the Madrid circuit now, and we are driving this Lamborghini Murcielago LP670. 670 standing for the amount of horsepower that this thing actually has. Quite a lot. Yeah, messed it up big time. Hey, but we drifted it around the corner. Right, let's uh, restart straight away. We'll give it another attempt right away. Hey, silver! I feel like gold is a very big push for a lot of these. So if I get silver, that is perfectly fine for me. Obviously, I'm not like a dedicated racing person. I'm not, not like, oh yeah, I've done racing all my life kind of thing. It's sort of my hobby and my favourite thing to do. But I'm not like, oh yeah, this is... I should be able to perfect everything. That's not the kind of like person I am. I can't actually do that yet. Right, so for this challenge, we need to visualize a line through blind corners. Uh, which I imagine we have no braking line or driving line. Oh, we do! Interesting. Perfect. I'm not a great fan of TVRs though. They are very good cars. And they're British. So normally I'd be like, oh yeah, they're the worst. Nah, these are crap. Like, I'm not even re-attempting that. I will take bronze. That car is disgusting. I do never want to drive it again. TVR Tuscan, it's horrible. It's a horrible car. And I've offended someone by saying that. But it is there. Right, so we are here at Toscana again. We're going to be doing some tricky high-speed consecutive corners. And we are in the Impreza WRC 2008. Now, I really, really like this car. And I have a feeling we could do this. Because I like this section of the track. Come on, come on. Perfect. Oh, we always 
always goes so wide at that section. 29, 30, 31, 32. Yeah, we won't get silver for that one. Right, let's try again. Over the jump, nicely done. Why is it not coming into the corner? Ah, so close to 32. So close. Right, one more try. No, we were going so well. We were going so well. can't get it. That is so tricky. I hate off-road racing in this game. It is not smooth. Cars just constantly slide and you can't actually like, the brakes don't work. Brakes work better on snow than they do on dirt in this game and it is a weird game mechanic that doesn't make sense. Right, so we are now here at Cape Ring for the Spiral Bridge. Uh, this is actually one of my favourite sections of Cape Ring. And sort of the telltale sign you know you're driving on Cape Ring is the fact that there's a massive spiral bridge in your way. This thing. This beast of a corner. Is it even classed as a corner? Or would it have to be classed as a spiral or something? Right, we've gone a little bit high. That car is so bad. That is a bad choice of car for this track. That is a bad choice of car. 27.5. But again, that's that car shouldn't exist on this track. It It's the shifting where going around that corner, it is right on the edge between third and fourth. And fourth, it goes too slow. Third, it's at max revs. Right, so now we're going to be learning about offensive and defensive driving on the Grand Valley Speedway in a Volvo. Yep, a Volvo. Right, let's go around this corner. Perfect. Right, slipstream in. Nice. Hopefully we can get gold on this. We got silver. That's alright. Silver is a decent medal for that. On to the final challenge, which I think is a lap battle. Right, so we are now on to the two lap battle. Let's do this. Oh, look at that. We're in a Lamborghini Gallardo for this one. We're not in our upgraded one, unfortunately. Which is a little bit disappointing because I want the upgraded one. So I can go super fast. Oh, no, we spun out. Okay, so if we try... Um, oh. 
It's going to be difficult trying to overtake all these cars. I think I can... This side might be better. Perfect. Let's get past the Zonda. Is that a Bugatti up there? No, that's a Kuntash. Never mind. What? He drove into me! <laughs> this is ridiculous. I hate these missions. Because the cars just drive into you. Right, let's go. Right, let's do this. Why is Zonda so slowing down so soon? Unbelievable. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Unbelievable. Right, so we are now on the Grand Valley Speedway 2 lap battle. We are in a Gallardo 560. Let's go. Right, this is going to be an absolute nightmare. I hate this track. It's a good track, but not for quick cars. Perfect. Right, let's get close behind the uh, mirror in front. Nearly messed us up there. Oh, close.
Right, we're catching up with the Murcielago up in front. Whoa, that was close. What's this Murcielago doing? Here we go. Ferrari F40 next. A lot of... It's almost like the right-hand side was pulling the car into the corner. Perfect. Nice. Right, we are fifth at the moment. We've got four more cars to overtake. Five eight Italia up ahead. Very good late break in there. Perfect. One more car up ahead. Let's see if we can catch up. I think we're slowly catching up. It's a Ferrari Enzo. Of course it is. When have you ever seen a Ferrari Enzo get overtaken by a Gallardo? Not a chance. Never happening. Not in a million years. Even if they gave me 10 laps, I wouldn't overtake it. Not a chance. But silver medal. Very good there. Right, on to... Oh no, that's it. That's the final one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.